Ken Starr's investigation of Bill Clinton changing the course of American history, leading to the 42nd president's impeachment back in 1998. The president had to make a decision. He could choose truth or he could choose deception. The president chose deception. One year into Mr. Clinton's presidency, Starr was appointed independent counsel, looking into Bill and Hillary Clinton's involvement in an Arkansas real estate venture known as Whitewater. That inquiry spawned other investigations, and Starr uncovered evidence of Mr. Clinton's affair with former White House intern Monica Lewinsky, investigating whether Clinton had tried to cover up the relationship. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Some arguing Starr was pursuing a political agenda, including then First Lady Hillary Clinton, here on Today. We get a politically motivated prosecutor who is allied with the right-wing opponents of my husband. Mr. Clinton later acknowledged the affair while denying any criminal wrongdoing. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. Starr published a 453-page report with salacious details about Clinton and Lewinsky's relationship, later dramatized in Impeachment, American Crime Story. I am proud of this report. It is thorough, bulletproof, irrefutably true. The report, serving as a Republican roadmap, with the House impeaching Mr. Clinton for perjury and obstruction of justice. But the then-president was later acquitted by the Senate. Lewinsky, reflecting on Starr's legacy, tweeting overnight, My thoughts about Ken Starr bring up complicated feelings, but of more importance is that I imagine it's a painful loss for those who love him. In a stunning role reversal, Starr later returned to Washington, defending Donald Trump during his first impeachment trial, denouncing the process as a partisan weapon. Like war, impeachment is hell, or at least presidential impeachment is hell. Starr also served as president of Baylor University in 2010, but was demoted and later resigned after allegations he and other administrators ignored accusations of sexual assault by football players. Starr died at the age of 76, with a lot of reaction coming in from Washington, as you might imagine, including from the Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts, who worked with Starr during the Reagan administration and says Starr loved our country and served it with dedication and distinction. Savannah Hoda, correct. All right, Hallie Jackson from Washington for us. Thank you, Hallie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.